Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT. Trivial Pursuit. Trivial Pursuit. Yep, yep, live. I wish I had a Pursuit. With your pro suit and a professional suitor. Let's meet our contestants. We have no suits. I have no suitors, no suits, and no shoots. Player two. You gotta shoot. Player I'll three. Have. And <laughs> better, player four. Bust your gun. Or should I say, blom blom. <laughs> blom blom. Blom to the fall. Now that we know the rules, exactly. let's play. Not a dog. That's a Snoop Dogg song, I believe. First that. round. Uh, you would know that. Off the front. You would know that. It's yeah, Switchagory. Let's Snoop take a look stuff. at the rules. Oh, but it was Dr. Dre. Take turns huh? picking a category. Is it? Yeah. Okay. I don't know rapper stuff. I don't know rapper stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know old rapper stuff. Oh, pick I can pick a category, category. Player one. History. 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 I know history better than geography. All right, let's go. I would prefer history over geography as well. What substance did Louis Pasteur made safe to drink? Milk. Milk. B. Give me that milk. Give me that B. Give me he that milk. He needs some I'm milk. Syrup. <laughs> You ever put chocolate syrup in milk? Uh, yeah. Like, what were people My thinking? My entire childhood. Way to go. Then you had the strawberry syrup, too. Oh, that was better. I like oh. the strawberry powder, though. Oh, yeah. Let's that's switch the off the categories. The Nesquik Arts strawberry and milk powder. That's so good. That's so gross, dude. It's dude, like, that's... let's put sugar and powder in your flavor. Stephen King novel, Stanley Kubrick. Uh, that was... Uh, I don't know this. Everybody got it. Why are they not dumb? Jack um, Nicholson. Didn't they do a sequel, or aren't they coming out with a sequel to The Shining? It's uh, going to be trash. It, it may be a sequel. It may be a rehash. You know, they like to redo everything nowadays. Amazing. It's big business here. Dude, I don't want to see him redo some movies. Uh, well, Player stop three, going to go see the movies. History. <laughs> well, then Nobody you, picks sports, dude. I don't you, like you, that. You've made your voice heard, then. <laughs> what legally blonde actress is a descendant of the U.S.? Declaration of Independence. It would be uh, Reese Witherspoon. Is it Reese Witherspoon? She was in that movie. Um, she's married to John Witherspoon, who is a fo founding forefather. No wonder she's an actress. Really? He's been dabbling in the honey pot since 1780. John Witherspoon is dead. Still plenty of questions. Yeah. He was a founding father. Time to switch categories. Oh, geography. I was thinking of Pops from... Uh, boondocks. Uh oh, he died too. Body of water, Saudi, Saudi Arabia, Israel, and Egypt all border. Ooh. No idea. Nope, none. No clue. The Red Sea. <laughs> That's right. Congratulations, you got it. That was only like a quarter, I guess. I like, mean. I was pretty confident, but I still guessed a little. No matter what you lose, you're using the, the clues Here's you have in front of you. Sometimes exactly. it could. Sometimes when I'm guessed, it's just tone of voice. <laughs> like I liked her tone of voice when she said that answer. <laughs> take a look at this. Uh, All right, I'll take a look tomb at it. Of what country's first emperor is guarded by eight thousand terracotta warriors? Oh, I know this, dude. I know this. China. Or Japan, Mongolia, or Thailand? I don't know we'll this. Say China. Uh -huh. Or China. China! I think it's China because terracotta sounds Chinese. But I do know this. I, yeah. It's hard because, like, you know, you, you watch a lot of anime and stuff, right? Nope. Okay, well, Player you know, two. when I watch Take a lot a of anime, like, you, you see stuff reference to that, but it's like, is that Japanese or is that Chinese? Right, right. Tech Titan tie the knot and Big Sur wedding costing ten million. Zuckerberg, Mary Meeker, Mayor, and Sean Parker. Are any of those people? Who's Sean, Sean Parker. Parker? Sean Parker, dude. Who's, what Tech Titan is he of? Yeah, you don't even know. That's because he's so rich. You don't need to, you to know. God, I wish it. Zuckerberg and for our category choice, geography. Antitrust, dude. You wanna know what's funny about that? What form of life is not found on Antarctica? Reptiles, birds, insects, mammals. Reptiles, because they're cold. Yes, reptiles would not survive um, there. They're they're doing an antitrust 
sued against Facebook. Yeah. But it comes like a week or a couple weeks after they start standing up for themselves about different things. And like, they're not standing up, but they're like, they went against, I don't even know what it was. They went against Congratulations. something. Congratulations. And all of a sudden, now they're antitrusting them. Like, oh, Last a couple weeks later, they're the like, round. here comes your antitrust Player suit. four, pick your I'm bonus like, category. Oh, maybe they were playing ball with the government. Once they stop playing ball. Entertainment. Mm. Then they get thwarted, dude. It is amazing. <coughs> amazing. Forget you with Gwyneth Paltrow at the 11th. Dude, I don't know the answer to any of this stuff. I don't know, dude. What we'll is say CeeLo Green. I just want CeeLo to be wearing feathers. Yeah. If Drake Usher right. a Danger Mouse, don't wear feathers. I want to see Drake in a feather boa come out, dude. Oh, and Forget You is the song. Ah. We got it, so it didn't matter. Forget you, and that's not even the name of the oh, song. Oh, yeah, the, I got you. Yeah, yeah. Now, if they would have had the real song, and man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I want to forget you tonight. And we have song. a tie for first place. It was. It was a good song. Yeah, it's more like an Xbox. How much will it take it. for your next wedge? Let's take a look. <laughs> I want to forget you tonight. <laughs> Dude, we did it. I do like Second CEO, round. but uh, you know he had some issues. It's close call blitz. Close Time call to check blitz. out what this round is all about. Mm -hmm. Act fast. Mm -hmm. and pick the best mm -hmm. possible answer. Is he an abuser? No, he Try to pick the best of anybody. This is quick, quick hits, dude. What was his trouble? And to start us what? off, nope. player arts and literature. It was arts and literature, dude. Famous playwrights was born earliest. Oh my God! Wild Beckett, Shakespeare, Miller. I think Shakespeare. Shakespeare. He was like way early. Like Arthur, Arthur Miller. Oscar Wilde was in uh, the the here's the breakdown. Century. Arthur Miller is yeah. What, Shakespeare was yeah. oldest. Okay. okay, good. Yeah, I don't know I most don't know of those names. Those other people are yeah. Samuel Beckett, I think I've heard of before. Oscar Wilde for sure. Film-inspired musicals are the longest span between their film and stage debuts. Blonde, Legally Blonde, Billy Elliot, Sister Act, The Producers, Low Shop of Horrors. No clue, dude. I, every, everything else was picked. No clue, dude. <laughs> this is a dude. grab bag. Yeah. yeah, we came in last on that one. The Producers, 33 years. Jesus. Uh, which of these following superheroes was the earliest to make their appearance in the comic book? Blue Beetle, oh. Superman, Shazam, Batman, Wonder Woman. Uh, Superman. I picked dude. Superman just because yeah. everybody else was like Superman. Blue Beetle, dude, is I've never even heard of that before. Yeah. Two of them aren't picking anything because they can't move their cursor off the one that somebody already picked. <laughs> <laughs> so they just quit? Yes, so, dude. Yeah, Superman. All right. Barely. Batman was like not like a year before Superman or a year after Those Superman. were all DC characters. Which too. of the literary moments became most recently? Realism, transcendentalism, the Harlem Renaissance? No, oh, I don't know. Most dude. recent? I don't know. Yeah, or man, this is, I don't know. No, man, this is probably the oldest. The beat generation. <laughs> yeah, man, this it is, is the fine, oldest. No. That's right. Yeah, we're, they that's saw a, all these beat romance. Last that's question. Like, uh, what do you call it? It's, uh, it's your chance page. to change it up, player three. Amelia picks <coughs> history. Oh, history and geography, dude. Okay, history. At least we got something. Which of the following cities has been inhabited the longest? London, Athens, Damascus, Mexico City, probably Damascus. Athens. Istanbul was constant. Ooh, though, Mexico. Let's see the correct order. Oh, man, Mexico City? Damascus was the oldest. Damascus. Was second, so. Okay. I know Born. Damascus and Athens were like... In uh, Assassin's Creed? <laughs> They Someone were. knows their yeah. <laughs> They were. I knew that. But oh, isn't wow. Damascus is in Israel, right? No. In fourth isn't place? There? In third. No, no, in in second. And in the lead. I don't have my phone or I would I'd look it up. Yeah. Ba, ba, ba. It, it's, the it's, show's you know, not it's over good, yet. Good, good. 
It is. Isn't it like the Red Roof Inns theme song? Or Answer Jingle? Probably. Oh, wait. No, no, we'll leave the light on for you. That was us. Yeah, get away from your family. Culture <laughs> events both past and present. Red Roof Inn. F that beat. Annie Oakley or Calamity Jane? Dressing in men's clothes. Annie that was Annie Oakley, dude, because she was a uh, Tom oh, too bad. I guess it was Calamity, it was Calamity Jane, Jane because she was a lesbian. Category. I should have known. The of the category. You're very convincing when you're guessing. Well, dude, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like you Life picked Calamity Earth. Jane and I just agree with you at Next that point. Crocodiles and nature. alligators. Oh, my God. More aggressive. Ooh. Alligators, dude. I don't know. Who knows? Sorry. Incorrect answer. Frick, dude. Until the next category. Frick, dude. This is this hard. This category is worth a wedge. They're the same animal. <laughs> <laughs> far from the same animal. They are far from the same animal. From the page to the stage, it's arts and literature. Suzanne Collins or J.K. Rowling? I don't even know who she's Children's these people television. Are. J.K. Rowling. Oh, yeah. Didn't she the Harry Potter chick? Suzanne Collins. It was, it was every single answer we've gotten wrong. <laughs> yep. Every the single Hunger one. Games film uh, shared screenwriting credit. That's J.K. Rowling's. Don't worry. You'll be I don't know the who category. these people are. J.K. Rowling did Harry Potter. Okay, well then, didn't why couldn't you also do the Also writes books? under the male pseudonym Robert Galbraith. That's J.K. Rowling. Sure, I'll pick it. That's wrong. gotta be J.K. Rowling. Well, we all picked it, so we because oh, she writes a male pseudonym. Should you write under a female pseudonym to get some? Had her first novel rejected by twelve? I think that was J.K. Rowling. I don't know. Um. I think it's Susan. Last Ranger. question of the category. Yeah, so. Earn that wedge. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just, I do know that. I had a novel sell 8.3 million copies in the first 24 hours. That was no, probably J.K. Yeah, Rowling. Yeah, that was her, for sure. Harry Pooter, dude. That was probably the last book a to sell. A wedge for like the winner of the category. Much, that fast. Nobody wants books, dude. Besides, like, the Bible. Does the Bible still sell? Bible is Film, number music, one selling book. It's every all in year, entertainment. Forever. Because they get bought in Stars Wolf Feral. Despicable Me or Megamind? Megamind. Megamind? Like but I've never seen either one of the bad. movies. So one wrong answer Megamind. and you're out Steve, until Despicable the next Me category. Corella, Features the villain Vector. Ah. Despicable Me, I just went with it. I don't know. I have yeah. no clue. Who's it going That's to be? That's what I would have guessed. I don't know the answers. I've never seen either one of them. Small Yellow Minions. That, no, okay, I know that one, dude. That's easy. Nice. Sorry. Incorrect yeah, answers make you out until the next right, category. Cool. We're pulling up. We're tied for Last first player standing in the category the gets the wedge. Two categories left. Okay. Oh, wait. We only need one. So we are oh, actually... Dude. dude, I like Hobbies this. and games. Food like and fun. It's round. time for right? sports Limbo and leisure. The French Open. Roland Garros. Fudge, dude. No idea, dude. French Open. I don't know. And we've the only one to get it right, dude. The only one. I think Wimbledon is played at Wimbledon. <laughs> oh, give me that sports box. I'm not getting we that dang soccer food. I don't know what soccer food is. Yeah, that was kind of cool. Uh, isn't that like peaches and cream? Yeah, Strawberry, dude. Strawberry and cream. Sickle. Cream sickle. Thanks food. to all our that is on for playing. We'll see you next time on yeah, Trivial Pursuit Live. TNT Dynamite, Twitch.tv, TNT, Diana, my GHT, and Mr. Crazy Town. We'll catch you on the next one. We uh, are uh, out. Oh,